Hey guys, Ed here. Thanks for popping in. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I know I did. And I know I'm also glad that it's over. <laughs> it's probably going to take me another month or two months now to get caught back up financially after Christmas. It happens every year, especially when you got a handful of the grandkids and, and everything like that. So guys, this video today, I want to show you what I got on the bench. Um... Maybe let's do a proper unboxing of this kit. Uh, very, very cool kit. And um, not necessarily what I was looking for, but I stumbled upon it. And once I seen it and I, you know, I got it, I'm, I'm actually happy now that I have it. Um, just a quick um, little history here on my model building and why I build ships. And um, it goes back to when I was um, a child, probably, I'm going to say maybe 10 years old, 9, 10 years old. My father was a Navy man, and every year for Christmas, he would get me a model ship, a plastic model ship, a Revell, or um, it was so far back, I don't even remember, um, you know, the, the make of the, of the ship itself, or the model itself. But I know that I did have the Arizona, and that's one of the reasons I, I built the Arizona. Um, it was kind of in, in his honor. And uh, he has passed away now. But back in, you know, when he, he'd get me these kits for Christmas, I remember, you know, I'd had my, my tube of the, the testers glue. And, you know, and this thing was just a complete mess by the time I got done with them. They were just a big ball of stringy glue everywhere. You know, and I, it, I didn't paint them. I just kind of slapped them together and I'm, there was probably even extra parts. I didn't know where they went type thing. And, but every year he would buy me a, a, a battleship model to build. And I know, like I said, I had the Arizona and I know I, I remember having the Missouri and I built the trumpeter um, Arizona right here, back here. And I, I still got to complete that. All I got left to do is the railing and the rigging on it. So it's not far from being completed. And I'm thinking maybe I'll get on to that really, you know, if I would spend a day, a solid day working on it, I could complete it. You know, I, I for some reason, I'm just dreading doing the, the rigging on that thing. There's so much rigging involved and I, I have, I don't know that I have the skills to do it. I mean, I'm going to tackle it and see how it goes, but um, I, I don't, you know, I never messed with it before. But anyways, um, I was looking to get to you at the, the Missouri and I want the trumpeter Missouri kit. That's my holy grail of, of battleships. You know, that's the kit that I want the most. And I was trying to get it. And, you know, that if you're familiar with Trumpeter's kits and stuff, um, the Missouri's running probably around um, three and a half, you know, three fifty, four hundred dollars $400 and then shipping and everything else. And for me, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a model, you know, you may as well go all out and get the photo etch and everything like I did for the Arizona. So I was really hoping to get the, the Trumpeter Missouri, the 200 scale. And I, you know, I just was looking for better prices because I can't afford the, you know, the $350 right now, especially with the holidays coming around like that. So I was looking on eBay, you know, I figured maybe there was somebody who was emptying out their garage or something and found, you know, this old kit and really didn't know what it was. And let's throw it up on eBay just to get rid of it. Maybe I could get a good price on it. So I was searching Trumpeter um, 1200 um, scale ships, I think is what I was doing. And, you know, you, you type that in and there's a mess of um, stuff that comes up. And I did not... I mean, I found some Missouris, but they were all, you know, the same price as anywhere else. They're three fifty, four hundred dollars, you know, depending on shipping and and everything else. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my Missouri. However, I did find a Trumpeter one two hundred scale of something that I think is is very very cool. Um, and like I said, it's not what I was looking for, but it's certainly a a pretty awesome looking ship. Um, it's a destroyer, which is new for me. Um, Everything I've been doing is, is battleship. So this is a destroyer. I found one of one two hundred scale. It's a Soviet destroyer, and let me just show you. It's it's kind of a big box, guys. So we're gonna have to to do the scan on it. But it's the Trumpeter um, 
Sabromeni Class Destroyer Type 956. And let's just do a quick... I can't see here, guys, so hopefully it's, it's on camera. And like I said, it is 1-200 scale. And there she is. And so that's what we got on the bench, guys. And like I said, it's not what I was looking for, but it certainly is a very cool kit. And um, I'm thinking this is going to be awesome. Um, the kit it's, has a little bit of damage. Um, like I said, it's it was a used kit. And um, we're going to show it here. You know, there's some paint marks here where it have dripped. We got a um, some damage up here in the corner. And the box has been opened, okay? Um, I kind of did a, a, an inventory, and everything seems to be there. All the sprues are still in their plastic. Um, it does come with its own photo etch. However, I got some other photo etch coming for it. And I got the paints and stuff like that. Now, it did not come with... This is from the Arizona guys, and it's a paint guide, and um, Trumpeter puts one of these in every one of their, their kits, okay? It's, a, it's the color call-out, you can see here, and the Sabromeni, the one that, our destroyer here that I just showed you, it's missing that, okay? Which is not that big of a deal because um, there's so much online information for this, you know, ship, or the destroyer, that... Um, it, it's not going to be any problem figuring out what colors things need to be painted and stuff like that. So really quick, guys, let me just give you a, um, a little bit of information on, on the ship here. And um, let me see here. Okay, it says that the Sabro Mini Class Soviet Designation Project 956, which is the one that we have there, is a class of anti—I'm sorry, anti-ship and anti-aircraft guided missile destroyers of the Soviet and later Russian Navy. The ships are named after qualities of Sabro Mini, translating as a modern or contemporary. Most of the ships have been retired from active service, and one converted into a museum ship in 2018. As of 2021, three remain in commission with the Russian Navy, with several in overhaul. Four modified ships were delivered to the People's Liberation Army Navy, and they remain in service still up to this point here. Um, the Sabromeni class are guided missile destroyers primarily tasked with the anti-ship warfare, while also providing sea and air defense for warships and transports under escort. The, the class was designated, or designed, I'm sorry, to complement the, the, the Utilory class destroyers, which were fitted primarily for anti-submarine operations. So there you have it, guys. Um, they have a maximum displacement of 7,940 tons. The ships are 156 meters in length. Um, they are armed with anti-submarine helicopters, which includes the helicopter in the kit. Uh, 48 air defense missiles, 8 anti-ship missiles, torpedoes, miles, mines, long-range guns, and sophisticated electronic warfare. So there we have it. So um, I didn't mean to bore you with all the history, guys, but for those that are into, you know, this kind of ship or whatever, I just want to kind of give you an idea of what we were building. Um, I want to do an unboxing of this. We're going to flip this camera around and I'm going to, you know, we'll pull the sprues out and see what's inside the box. I'll show you what photo etch is included. However, I'm going to show you the, the hull um, because of its size. It's not going to fit in the camera if I, if I lay it on the, um, on the bench. So let me just do that while well, we got the camera set up this way here. Now I'm in love with this hull, guys. Wait till you see this thing. This is the hull. Um, nothing's been done. This is straight out of the box, okay? But check this out. I love this. Look at this. What a beautiful design, huh? Look at that. That is beautiful. This is going to be great. And... Um, we don't need to order a wooden deck for this because it did not have a wooden deck. It had a metal deck. So we are going to paint that a metal. Um, and we'll get more into that as we're, as we're doing the build, guys. But there we have it. There's our hull. It's one piece. One piece hull. And I just love that. Look at this. 
and it's it's pretty much clean there is a little bit of a, of a seam down here along the bottom you can see it now and you know nothing that a, a quick pass of some sandpaper is not going to correct so there we have it guys that's what we have on the bench um let's go ahead and let's get this camera flipped around guys and let's see what's in the box and let's cue up the intro guys welcome back to models and beer. All right, guys, here we go. And in, in trumpeter true fashion, the instruction manual comes in a nice, a nice book type instruction set rather than a, a folding sheet. And I'm not going to go through this page by page. Um, we can, you know, we'll go into depth more as we as we get into the building of this thing. And here's a some of the photo etch that's included. We got some railings there, um, the radar. And just some other ends, ins and outs there. I'm not quite sure what we're looking at yet until we get into the build. And let me get it here where we can see what we're doing here. And it does come just in case uh, you wanted to motorize your your destroyer, guys. It does come with a place for the batteries to go and the appropriate. Um, uh, well, what, what I want to say, you know, to, to build it up for a motor. It's all ready to have a motor put into it. It does not include the motor, but you're, you're able to do that. That's what I'm trying to say. And here we go into our, our instructions, which look like they're fairly easy to follow. Doesn't look like it's anything too difficult. Yeah, so there are a lot of parts, guys, a lot of parts to this. And I didn't look at the at the part count. Um, I don't know if it's listed on the box or not. I did not look for that. I didn't think about it until I started looking at the instructions here at all these different pieces. I think this is going to be beautiful when it's finished, guys. I'm excited about getting into this. I really, really am. But I'm waiting on... Um, the finishing supplies, are, like I said, I got some photo wedge coming for it. I've got um, some paints coming. So we're going to try to build it, at, you know, as accurately as we can. So yeah, anyway, guys, this is the instruction booklet. And let me get this out of the way and let's peek at some parts that we got. Um, here is the photo wedge set that comes with it. And it's got our railings there. And there's another set down inside of here, guys. Um, very, very delicate. I don't want to mess with it too much. There we go. But like I said, I got I got some other photo wedge coming. There's a lot of photo wedge that's going to be onto this by the time it's finished up. We got the kit provided, photo etch, and then, like I said, I got some coming. Um, and I'll show you that one once it gets here. So that's our photo etch. And let's take a look at our upper deck, guys. You've seen the hull. Oops. This is our upper deck. And it's, I know it's going to be hard for you to see all the detail. And... I mean, not a super whole lot on the deck itself here, but there is a lot of stuff that we're going to be planning down on there as we're building. There we go. So that is our deck. That, now, the, like I said, the deck comes in three pieces. The hull is one piece. The deck is in three. Let me back out here a little bit. Okay. Now, all these sprues were in bags, guys. I unbagged it simply to 
save time in the save time and showing you the stuff here guys we got a lot of small odds and ends here your guess is as good as mine as to what a lot of this stuff is but I know we're gonna find out as soon as we get to building and this is uh, J sprues they're identical we got two of these this one's identical to the one I just showed you And then this is the eye sprue, and there are two of these. And both of these are identical, so we'll set one aside here and we'll just take a peek at the other. Looks like our torpedo launchers here. And this is our helicopter, guys. It comes in a clear sprue. And our um, my Arizona, when I did the Arizona, the the planes for the Arizona also came in this clear, in this clear plastic. There's some really nice detail on this helicopter. Let me see if I can get the the glare to show it. Hey, you kind of make it out there. And there's our propellers. So there we go. And then this is our K sprue. And they're both, again, they're two identical. So I'm just going to show you the one here. And this is like um, some nice heavy plastic, guys. It's not cheap. Um, it's it's nice and sturdy now like a lot of these ladders and stuff like this we're not going to use um and this one here we're going to use the photo etch it's going to add so much more life to this ship that's the reason we go with the photo etch because a lot of that you know this I mean, it would probably work if you put it in there, but it's it, it's not the most appealing thing, you know. So we've got two sprues of this. They're both identical. And here it looks like we got some radar bits. And I'm pretty sure I got Photo Edge coming to replace this, guys. But even in the event that I, the photo etch I got isn't replacing this, this doesn't look bad. Um, it's got some really good detail there. You can make it out. And that's the F sprue. There's just one of these. And... This is a... Okay, this is E sprue and it's just one of these and here we're going into the superstructure looks like a lot of very fragile parts here but like I said it is nice and thick plastic so I don't think we're going to have to really worry too much about breaking that stuff unless we Really give it a good bump, you know. All right, that was the E. And we have, I think, two sprues in this one. No, just one. This one is the C sprue. And this looks like more of more of the structure here is what we're looking at. This has got some doors and, and such on it. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be replacing those with doors or if we're just going to be keeping those. We'll have to see what the photo etch sets that I got coming have in them. They are designed specifically for this 
destroyer, the photo which that I got coming. But I don't know exactly in detail what the what the photo which sprues are going to contain. Okay, this is D. Sprue D. We got messes and messes of sprues here, guys. This comes with a lot of parts. Like I said, I don't know what the part count is on this. Maybe we can figure it out. And this is B sprue, Bravo sprue. Looks like some more structure. Upper deck. And here we got A, Alpha. And here looks like another upper deck. A couple more to go, guys. I'm going to, I'm going to try to keep this short as I can. And here we got our H screw. And we got a couple of smaller boats. And I'm wondering if I can get the photo which is going to include anything for these boats. I mean, it's not bad detail on there. But I know in, in the past that I've used uh, the photo which for the lifeboats and stuff on the Arizona. And, um, yeah, and it, it really added a lot of nice detail. And I guess this is a water break here. It's either that or a, a shark's mouth. I can't tell. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so really a lot of nice parts in it, right, guys? I mean, this, this is going to be a super cool build. I can't wait to get into this. We'll do the, the Missouri down the road whenever I can get the funds to, to complete that project. And some more superstructure. There we go. And then it does come with a with a stand, guys, but I'm not going to be using this stand. Um, we're going to display it something nicer than, than this. So I'm not going to be using this at all. But it does come with it just in, in the event that any of you guys are interested, you know, down the road in building this. Um, or if you're considering buying it and you want to see what's in the box, there you have it. Um, it does include a stand, but like I said, I'm not going to be using that in this build. So, alright guys, let me get this camera flipped around. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is the Sabra Mini Trumpeter 1-200 scale unboxing and um that's what's on the bench next guys that's what we're going to be tackling it's going to be a couple of weeks before we get this thing started i do like i said have the photo wedge coming for it um and some paints and uh, we're going to do this thing upright so i hope you're going to follow along with this build i'm excited about getting into this uh, the Missouri, you know, the Trumpeter Missouri, we'll do that one down the road when I financially I'm a little bit, you know, in a better situation and have the, you know, everything I need to, to do that one right also. But this one will hold us over until it's done. Like I said, I'm excited about this one, my first destroyer, um, Soviet destroyer and very, very cool looking destroyer. So this is going to be a really, really fun build for me. Um, the Arizona guys, I'm going to, like I said earlier, all I got left is some railing and rigging on that. We're going to call that one done, okay? The King George, I have that almost completed. Um, I'm not going to bring it up here right now because I don't want to bust anything off of it. I got some railings ordered for that. Um, they should be here any day, actually. And all we have left to do is put the railings and the rigging on that. Now, the rigging on the King George is nothing like the Arizona there's there is some rigging on the King George but nothing like the Arizona Arizona just looks like a, a like a spider had, had a field day all over the top of that thing <laughs> so guys thanks for following along with me um, appreciate everybody who has subbed um, 
Uh, my sub count is going up. Thank you. And um, I'm sitting at around 450 subs as of the filming of this right now. And I appreciate every single one of you and your comments um, on, on my videos. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. I hope everybody has a safe weekend. And um, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Everybody take care. See you next time around. Bye-bye.